Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. Not, 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 font, 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 Okay, font. okay, okay, there okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they want this by him! I'm walling right now. I'm not, not, not. Not. <laughs> you, you did Sing. it on me. You weren't even looking up the screen Sing. and it was on me. Good. <laughs> and today we're back with another episode of Mystery Dungeon. We found the rest of the team. And Jinzio is whoa, whoa. And I'm Duke. <laughs> Wait, did you want did you want Arbok or Drapion? Pretty sure you wanted Drapion. So you'd be Arbok. So I had to be Arbok. Uh, it's, it's been a while, so everybody. Welcome back, Lady Weavile. Are these the two that you told us about? I would have done the snake voice either way, by the way. I way. forgot the voice I wanted to make for this bitch. <laughs> it's a female, fem an older voice. Female gangster from the New Yorks. Female gangster? Female gangster from the New Yorks? New I can't Yorks. fucking do that. From New York, Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Boston! <laughs> yes, the chip shop from Brooklyn! The treacle partner that we've heard about. What? Welcome to Team All Wheel Drive Space. Yeah. <laughs> so this is really your base? This is kind of a shithole. Um, look at the, look is, at the, look at your abode. <laughs> this is really a shithole. We have a whole guild and like these rooms and a cafeteria and fucking floors and gold. <laughs> uh, Jensen, your line was uh. <laughs> <laughs> I I just have a little question, Lady Weavile. It's just Weavile to you. Right. Uh, so... Are all of you really... Thieves? What do you take us for? I'm sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying to do like the... You see the <laughs> two... You see the two white things sticking out of his mouth? His fucking tusk? Yeah. What do you take us for? Of course you're really thieves. Got that. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of what I do, I guess. You need those dentists like mouth. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I was just wondering because this is this base is in um how do I say it? Is he actually gonna be critiquing their actual base? You look poor. What I expected from a team of thieves. Damn. <laughs> you have a color of that both. No, no. It's just it's not that. It's just you. Don't have a lot of stolen stuff here, you know. <laughs> You're bad thieves. Not a lot of treasure. And not a lot of room either. And there's no security system either. How did you guys keep it how do you keep everything safe? We murdered them! <laughs> huh? Security system? What are you talking about? That's how close are you? We are the security Team system. Team Charm has a security system at their hideout for a while now. These two have already met with them. Wait. How do you know that? Because we saw for them. <laughs> because it's obvious. You said that you knew Team All Will Drive best as the, as the enemies of Team Charm. <laughs> Nobody cares about our encounters aside from Team Charm themselves. Where else would you have heard that? You know, oh. the funny thing is the number of times that we get to these teams and it's like you see like all these guys talking so much. I usually end up voicing the guy who does the least, I notice. <laughs> it's, it's that's pure, pure by that's chance. That's pure chance. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, I don't know what it is. It's just <sighs> funny when it comes down to it. And 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 Jinsu keeps taking the Pokemon that he likes, and that just turns out to be the one that he voices, that gets voiced the most. <laughs> yeah. Also, dog barking. Dog me. <laughs> dog me. <laughs> dog me's back! <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's, it's Pokemon. Growlithe! Oh, Mighty okay. Yetta! <laughs> Houndor. Okay, we've all, we followed you all the way to this spot. Why did you bring us here? You no. have no patience, do you? <laughs> I'm just skunk tank but a girl, but that's fine. <laughs> I can't stand formalities either. Let me ask you one question, Mayhem and Jinsu. Yes. What's the difference between a thief and a treasure hunter? That didn't apply to this. <laughs> Is it that thieves will steal from anyone, but treasure hunters won't? Treasure hunters steal from the dead. Wrong. 
Try again. Thieves stalk in the shadows, but treasure hunters are out in the open. It's the opposite. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Of course it does. Thievery is an honest trade. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Says the thief. <laughs> when you encounter a thief, there's no surprises. A thief. They will search for that day's treasure with no restraint. A thief will always make their presence known. Uh, no. It's called breaking and entering. <laughs> Anyone competing with a thief knows the risk that they're taking. But a treasure hunter... Cowards! <laughs> <laughs> Cowards! Treasure hunters are just thieves that need to hide behind a euphemism. Behind capitalism. They convince, by, they convince the town dwellers that they're honorable and trustworthy, but claim the rewards all the same. Then they use their status within the town to vilify us thieves on the outside. Man, what a reversal of, <laughs> of responsibility. <laughs> Very interesting take. Instead of embracing competition, they hope for no competition. That's why Team Charm takes issue with us, Jinsu. No, because you stole from them. <laughs> we aren't used. We aren't used to other Pokemon competing for. They aren't used to other Pokemon competing for their treasure. But it goes further than Team Charm. Plenty of thieves have been fighting against the town's wishes for a long time. Wait, they're not thieves. They're capitalists. What? God damn it. <laughs> they're communists. <laughs> but. Don't thieves steal from normal Pokemon too? Irrelevant! <laughs> shouldn't, shouldn't everyone be running into a thief? Shouldn't everyone be afraid? Did you, did you listen to anything to Livy? We've had this head. Jinsu is from the town, Drapion. He's a he's one of them commoner types. <laughs> I've had <Hey>. one line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden now Drapion is talking so much. <laughs> but it's, yeah. just, it's just Arbok. Hi. I'm just having a good time. I'm keeping an eye on this one. <laughs> I'm taking a siesta. Jitsu. Mayhem. Yeah? This part of the continent is different. South of Murky Forest, the environment becomes incredibly harsh. The tale that we went through today is nothing compared to the conditions in most of those areas. We have to stay in bed all day. <laughs> <laughs> the lifeless desert mountains, the deadly volcanic rage, the depleted forests. All of the worst elements that you can imagine with no relief. Why don't you move away? Because we're just better than you, and basic needs are hard to come by. <laughs> Not everyone can make it there. I had many oh, close calls face. when I was younger. Why'd you look cute? Oh, yeah, face of the weaver. Oh, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> grandma Weaver. But I became tougher. That's what everyone does if they want to make it. That's what it means to be a thief. A thief. A thief. But I don't understand. Why, why didn't you just send out a rescue request when you were in trouble? That seems much easier. <laughs> they must be joking, Lady Weefile. I love the giant, like, shiny bit on Arbok on the bat. Yeah. So when he turns, it's like a balloon, like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I, I will say, I love that it just seemed like Arbok just wasn't talking for the longest time. It's just like, don't worry, I already did my dick sucking for the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full. <laughs> okay, now for a bit of brown nosing. Yeah. Oh. Do you really think Do you want a brown that nose? I try? <laughs> That we all didn't try. Hmm? Oh. You're in Wigglytuff's guild. Uh. How many rescue requests have you seen for this part of the continent? Oh, well, I don't know. Seven? I don't think that I've seen any requests. This is an element I remember that like the fan game added. That I thought was interesting of bringing it up of just like, why would there just be one town? Yeah. There what? And consider how many wild quote-unquote Pokemon there are, how many, how vast the area is. The tribes that you run into. That it would have to be the case that there are just different <laughs> cities all around the world, but Wigglytuff's Guild is the only area in where area. it's, like, nice, pristine, and they only let in the really good Pokemon. Yeah. Mm. It's fucking, it's fucking Mari's Raw all over again. <laughs> <laughs> they gentrified the coast. Uh -oh. Of course you haven't. They aren't posted anywhere in town. Do you know why? Because they live on the other side of the continent. <laughs> because we can't reach you, and if we wanted to, we, by the time oh. we got here, it'd be too late. Because, because the town doesn't care about us. <laughs> it's because the letter gets lost in the mail every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of the equivalent of mentioning, like, oh yeah, there are the folks that live in the boonies that, like, the fire department just doesn't go to. Dear goddamn... I'm familiar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. It's too dangerous here, and there's too many thieves for this area to be worth anyone's time. They live in a dirt road. We don't have to save them. We have no support. And any help we get needs to come from our own. Even us thieves need help sometimes, especially when we encounter other thieves. That's why Team All Wheel Drive was born. Because <laughs> so we're, we're, we're on any terrain. <laughs> <laughs> They're Actually, All Wheel Drive is better for All Wheel Drive is better for roads and paved roads, but Four Wheel Drive is better for terrain because the the power is more like uh, well, it go it go the power goes where it's needed, where the, rather than being evenly distributed through all. Well, what if you're rock climbing with a car? They're <laughs> implying that Wiggly Tough is a fed. He dropped weed and <laughs> cocaine in this area. He dropped ether in the murky forest. <laughs> Isn't Wiggly Tough from this area? He so. he was part of Team Charm for a while. He was part of Team Charm, but they mentioned that Team Charm also looks down on them. Yeah. Which means Team Charm, to them, would be a very pristine, prissy club. Uh, high high right. society in the low place. It's, a, it's the mixed bag. When you look at it, it really is the mixed bag of just like, it's like, oh man, that's fucked up, the, the way that they mistreat Welcome this other to- area. They don't give a shit about this area. But also, Thieves Guild. Welcome to Area 11, everybody. <laughs> someone's been watching Code Geass. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jensu. To, to someone's recommendation. <laughs> We're like family. Do, 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 do. Why are you telling uh, all of this to two town dwellers? I don't want to join your team. <laughs> Holy shit. Stop espousing your manifesto. I already don't care. I don't care. I don't care who the IRS sends. I'm not paying my taxes. (laughs) You don't have to. That's right, I don't have to. I just want to tell Pokemon like you that they aren't alone. Oh my god, am I getting... Rise up, my fellow Pokemon. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know exactly what you did, but you must have gotten into someone's bad side if half the world is dreaming about you. You robot masters are all mistreated. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Wowie. Oh, but Dr. Willy. <laughs> Whatever it was, I can tell that you two weren't in the wrong. Or you weren't in the wrong, but the town will eventually disagree. <laughs> Dr. Wiggly. <laughs> <laughs> Wiggly. <laughs> town dwellers will never respect thieves, so we embrace our reputation. Since they think we're all evil criminals, we might as well act like evil criminals around them. Did you know in Japan, dark type is actually referred to as the evil type? (laughs) Fear is powerful. You're not a thief, but I still want you to remember one piece of advice that has always helped me. It's real. (laughs) It's real. You don't owe anyone... you You don't owe anything to those that don't treat you right. Hey, that's a good message. I fucking love this as a sequel story to the original, considering this teaches a lot of really good lessons that, like, kids that played that original would really need to learn. The person who made this cared about the writing. What? (laughs) What? I mean, the funny thing of the mystery, uh, the mystery dungeon games were always, like, the best written when it comes down to it. Like, weirdly, weirdly enough, very bizarrely, like, some of the best written, like, I mean, the number of people that cry towards the ending of the, of the original game, uh, like when uh, your Pokemon's disappearing the and your sky. partner has to say goodbye. Yeah. yeah, yeah. People devastated them, I've seen. This one, I really like because of the fact that they actually bring up a lot of good points of just like, okay, you've got this evil guild. Why is the, Why are they an evil guild? Why is this, like, why is this location filled with evil folk? Yeah. Because they're mistreated. Because, oh, you did a bad thing once, you're not allowed in the town. They've been labeled as evil. Extradited. Yeah, yeah, they've been extradited. And it's just a bunch of very interesting s- setup. Like, they even make Chadot an interesting character so far. Like, I know he's been an asshole, but you see that there's development with him. He's different. He's trying to figure out how to speak to us. Yeah, he he's trying. He's not, like, just blowing us off and writing us off as, as delinquents or as uh, rebellious. Or the demon. <laughs> yeah, or the demon. He's just like... Uh, not, also, they don't like talking to me. <laughs> Why? Also, ma- also, in general, with the main character, the fact that it's like he pushes, which is a is a mix of a good and a bad. Of some people feel pushed away because of how hard he pushes. Others start to learn because he pushes back, like Chadot. Yeah, Chadot yeah. is learning because of the fact that Mayhem pushes back. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. 
And yeah, all the other characters are too timid to really like stand up for themselves or to like talk back to Chad. So he kind of just kind of. I feel like over time he's he, in charge, so there's uh, nothing you can do. Yeah, it was the idea. No one challenges his position. But now there's mayhem, who comes <laughs> in and he challenges it. He tells you like, no, this is horse shit. I'm not gonna go fucking getting apples for you because you can't fly into the forest real fast well, fuck you well that's the best part of him saying like no i got apples for you the first time you guys tried to blame us over uh, like uh, not Nothing. getting the apples even yeah. though it was another team's problem and so then you want me to do it again no i won't yeah yeah the, the, I, i'm really enjoying this especially now that we're getting to the different parts of the game like yeah the, the game is finally being something we can <laughs> look at that we haven't seen before yeah. i got a lot of respect for this right now yeah it's very nice i f- i really enjoy it we vile. We vile. i didn't i didn't think they were bad you're looking out for us and it seems that all of team all wheel drive cares for each other as well i know you see trico i know that you're seeing we vile next to the bed but that's not trying to get <laughs> it's not gonna work out you're not in the same egg group you can't simp your way through this. Mayhem, would you? <laughs> no? Just <laughs> uh, mayhem, he might. Maybe fused with a Zorark. <laughs> Maybe if it was my size. <laughs> yeah. You want to help others, but... Why can't you feel the same way about those from Treasure Town? You three don't have to be outsiders. You could live like normal town dwellers if you stop being thieves. What's the name of the stupid-looking evolution? Duke? Of, <laughs> of uh, Sneasel. Sneezler. Sneezler, yeah. So you would Sneezler. <laughs> Fused with a Zorark. <laughs> Just a normal Sneezler, no. <laughs> stop being thieves. But that's what we are. So why do we need to stop that? To make some stupid town dwellers happy? Because uh, stealing is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, of course you say it. <laughs> <laughs> Mayhem, Jinsu, you should start traveling back to Treasure Town. Just remember my advice. Oh, great. Oh. God, it's fascinating, especially <laughs> of they don't fight you there. Yeah. It, this didn't lead to, like, some massive erupting fight. But mind you, a fight did arise when it came to the exploration team. Yeah. Like, they, they, they're they supposed to be the good guys, but they immediately brought us over to an area to kick our ass. Yeah. Yep. Meanwhile, the Thieves Guild, they brought us in and said, hey, remember, people that are fucked to you, you don't know any, owe them anything. Yeah, they're giving, like, parental advice. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, Weavile truly cares in this moment. It's like, no, it's interesting of, like, seeing a kid being messed up by the town. Yeah. Like, I want to help out. Meanwhile, the clouds lifted over the vicinities of the arid area. Yay! Oh, no! It's <laughs> fuck. No. <laughs> yeah, so it goes by faster now. No. <laughs> so anyway. Nom, 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 I love watching Laundry Deed. Nom, 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 nom. Ah. Thinking words. Mayhem, you've been quiet today. Are you thinking about something? Thinking what is words? it possibly <laughs> that thing? Look, about Weavile's advice. Forget about it. You don't think she's right, do you? I don't know. If it really gets so bad that the whole town shuns us. Come on, Mayhem. That'll never happen. <laughs> What's gotten into you over these past few days? Uh. <laughs> you might try to hide it from everyone else, but I know that you've ha- you have a soft side. <laughs> assertive Trico picture. <laughs> <laughs> I suddenly update the picture now. <laughs> hmm, I'm more assertive now. And then instantly turns back into a bitch as soon as I challenge it. <laughs> yeah. You want to help out Pokemon in need and stop bad Pokemon. Today you show that you care about Berloom. And Weavile too. And and we're still close friends. No, I hate you. <laughs> so, so why are you even thinking about turning your back on everyone? That's not like you. Oh, I like how with the pixels it made it look like this, like the scratched out eyes uh, you see in some anime during rage moments. Oh yeah, like uh, when somebody's freaking out real bad and you see like the the pupil just starts like sliding. It looked like that for a moment because of the way the pixels were. Yeah. I like Sorry. that. That was too much. Five hours. <laughs> <laughs> Fire blast, motherfucker! Let's let's make tomorrow a good day, man. <laughs> Donk. Donk. I like how I didn't say anything. I, I love the way that Mayhem sleeps. I can't talk about that. Not yet, at least. Jitsu definitely seems upset. Hmm. <laughs> Mayhem's not breathing. <laughs> I don't think about it a lot, but Jitsu is a good Pokemon to be around. 
You've always been by my side. Now seeing Jinsu get upset, it's a strange feeling. It wasn't always like this. I should get some sleep. <laughs> chapter 12, a master's master. We're on to chapter 12. Yeah. There's How many chapters are in this movie? <laughs> I'm Googling. Google, Google. Well, first, voice your chat. All right, everyone, work hard again today. Hey! It's been a while since I used this voice. I actually missed it. Yeah! <laughs> come here. The Guildmaster has a new mission for you today. So cute, Dick. <laughs> right now. You need to give him the old Gobble Twister 2000. Slower. <laughs> and that's why I have a special mission for Team Boofbot today. Of all days. So... It has to do with this old master of yours. Oh, Lapras. Yep, he just got out of jail. This <laughs> mission is very important. <laughs> he has some context that I need. <laughs> In fact, this comes first, even before looking for Darkrai and Cresselia. <laughs> huh? It's more important than that? Yeah. For now. Your mission for today is to find my old master, Armaldo, Yay! in the Town ruins north of the guild. Armaldo! Then, once you find him, ask him for his story. And listen up. Here's my manga I've been developing. <laughs> he will sell it's you his like movies. scratches and it's, it's wet. <laughs> he will sell you his movies, okay? He did Machete. He did uh, Spy Kids. <laughs> Just tell him that I sent you and he'll know what you're asking for. He, he's even in Breaking Bad. <laughs> so gonna say up, don't he's a that. severed head is he? I am 100% gonna uh, uh, 110% absolutely gonna try and uh, like figure out how to do like as close to Danny Trejo as possible for Armaldo he even had a weird no just do Gilbert Gottfried again <laughs> no he must be water dead. gun <laughs> they mentioned they mentioned that he was actually in jail they, that's why I made that joke yeah. because when well, he cut to them earlier they said oh well Armaldo got out of jail kind of thing mm -hmm. hell yeah and I heard that, I'm like, what if it was just Danny Trejo? <laughs> <laughs> That's it? <laughs> That's it. Okay, then. We'll listen to Master Armaldo's story today. Awesome. That's not the line. <laughs> Superb. <laughs> Fucking spectacular. Bomba! <laughs> Bomba! Bomba! <laughs> Guildmaster, do you remember when we spoke during the expedition after you hailed your roll call in gloomy forest when Team Boof Butt was nowhere to be found? When they were murdering Cresselia, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, like, I, I remember that. Heavy. Jinzu is playing with the Pokeball controller. Jinzu, I can see you still in the door. Can you stop playing with your Pokeballs in the doorway? The but they're two great balls! But it's so big and heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, Mr. White. They feel too good. <laughs> yes, I <laughs> Why did you say singular? Never mind. I think I, under I think I understand why you had so much faith in them during that time. They really are talented explorers. I thought you have hiccups. No, I don't. That much can't be denied. I just hope that Armaldo is able to knock some sense into them. Chat out. Our mother was fucking fuck arrested. If he, if he can't, then he'll just shank them. Yeah. That's the nicest thing that you've ever said about them. <laughs> That's a thing, too. I love how Wigglytuff is just like, you fucking idiot, chat out. <laughs> yeah, I like, that. I like that he goes to Wigglytuff for advice and Wigglytuff just shuts him down and goes, listen, you need to stop being a dickhead. <laughs> yeah. Well, since our last conversation, this has been stuck on my mind. The guild has been around for a long time and we've always struggled to find proper recruits. Oh. Most of them either quit or become <laughs> inc incompatible with the guild's way. I... Fuck, I wish I could have changed their voices now. Why? I would have made Chad out a somewhat normal guy. So, Benson, while making Wiggly Tough Pops. <laughs> <laughs> you get perfect apples or you're fired! <laughs> Yeah, most of them either quit or became incompatible with the no, game. No, and then yeah. we're just Mordecai and Rigby. <laughs> Mayhem and Jinzu, go, oh, go get advice from oh, Armando or you're oh, fired! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and so I look at Wigglytuff as, over here. It's just like, Chad, all of you not nice to them. You're fired! You can't fire me. <laughs> who's, who's Pops? Wigglytuff. 
Oh, not. Oh wait. Jinzu, big head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I thought it skips for some reason. <laughs> no, it's floundered. Yeah, I've seen this problem before. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> but no, the chat out voice and really tough voice, sir, they fit too well. Most of them either quit or became a revealed way. <laughs> Many of those princesses were talented as well. I would like that scene <laughs> typed out. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the real reason why you want me to earn Team Boof but trust? You keep getting us fired. Are you worried about fully losing them too? We don't have more members because of you. <laughs> nope, not at all. N not at all. <laughs> <laughs> what? But I'm glad that you came up with that on your own, Chatot. No! Good show! No. Jolly good show! You should remember that! You should remember that! <laughs> no, I missed that you talk. <laughs> Surely I'm invited to my own birthday party! Pops, it's not your birthday. Oh. oh. <laughs> Floats away on balloons. They <laughs> release the Destroyer Worlds! Good <laughs> show! Jolly good show! Isn't isn't Pop's voiced by JG Quintel, the creator of the show? Oh no! He's also voiced by Benson, right? Like JG Quintel, the creator of the show? There's no No, there's no left or right! It's just up and down. Wait. Down is right, up is left. Ro left rotate is it, down. Rotate, rotate it to the left. Wait, yeah. Uh, so anyway, how how would you rate my Pop's voice? Good show! Jolly good show! Also, it sucked! <laughs> <laughs> Well, it wasn't any better. It just sounded like you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look up. I'm pretty sure it is J.G. Quintel, creator of the show, who voices like most of those characters. I know Mordecai, more, the guy who voices Mordecai, and the guy who voices Benson. They're the two creators of the show. Yeah. That's so funny. Sam Marin. Okay. That's yeah, yeah, his name. Do Quint you want Quintel to get Flash? Mordecai's voice. Quintel is Mordecai's voice. He's the guy who's fucking... The weirdest self-insert. Yep. Wait, I've heard that Dude. name. Mr. Mailer was played by David Ogden Steers. <laughs> I've heard that name before. Man. Yeah. Whoa! It's like a yo-yo. I'm too exhausted. Let's go. Wait, I, I can't remember. Let's uh, let's just do this mission real fast. Let's do this mission. He's Cogsworth. Ha! <laughs> and what? Uh, from Beauty and the Beast, it's uh, uh, Pop's dad. Oh, that's great. From regular show. That's good. I like that. That's awesome. Also, he's got a cool name in general. David Allen Ogden Steers. All right, well, that's an actor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but let's see if Berloom is still drinking his woes away. <laughs> no, he's not here. He's also Governor Rat. Hey, it's you, Fox! Oh, it's the lunatic! I see that you've returned to spit this cafe! Since I encountered the servant, it has been working hard as ever to improve my self-defense abilities. I'm a while. I'd like to apologize for our exploration of Horn Valley. I know that it seems like we aimed to not uh, to set you up for a fight, but that's not true. We just set you up for a we fight. We really did hope to find a clue about Shaman, but we also wished to inquire about the nightmares. Interesting. Tensions just flared a bit too much, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the lunatic! <laughs> oh, you sure gave us a good rough or not, man? <laughs> Well, we ain't planning to bully you again, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that was an amazing voice. From Stitch. Who's Ice Mr. Mime? Jumper! Who's Mr. Mime? I went on explore recently and came back with a bunch of atoms. Well, at least I can recycle all those extra atoms. But I, I just I love that. The... <laughs> ah, it's the lunatic! <laughs> Jinju, you, Jinju, you remember names better than me. Uh, Kamaji spirited away. Kamaji? Kamaji. Which character was that? From Spirited Away? Yeah. I think that was the old Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. I think... Yes. Eggman! That is also uh, Ogden Sears, which is Pop's dad in regular show. <laughs> Swinham Duck. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> yeah, David Ogden Sears. Swin Swinham Duke. Yeah. And then... We got four heracrats. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> which one's the highest level? They all you you literally got one, it died, you got another one, it died, and you got another one and it died. Yeah. So they're all the same level. None of them got enough experience to actually do anything. Yeah. But no, one of them's twenty-eight. There there's two. Hearth Herathruk. Herathruk. Heracross is just the dark type counter, which is really funny to think about. 
So, so what do you think of this team? By the way, I got to remember the name, uh, the reason why we called him Hera Throok, and it was not just Hera. No, it was also because it was the third one. <laughs> yes. So it, we were going to call him, like, Hera 3, <laughs> and it, I went, we'll just add Ook at the end. Ook. <laughs> Three across. Well, but what do you think about this type, uh, this type setup team? Uh, you have a grass type, Fire type. and an ice type, and a bug type. <laughs> Bye, swine. Today. Everybody is weak to a lot of things. <laughs> well, then get to the team planning, Mr. Plan Teamer. Ah, Scorpy. I will. Where are we going? I. We're, we're just going to places right now, so we don't really need, like. Oh, then it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter who you pick on. Le Duc? <laughs> Le Duc? Wait, who's Le Duc? Le Duc. Le Duc. Le do you expect any less? <laughs> no, I'm not even naming that. I just totally forgot about that. Magnemite. Magnemite's not bad. Magnemite would be a good one. But also steel type. Yeah. Still. What's wrong with that? Steel type's actually really good. Fire. Oh, you went to fire area? You were mentioning wait, so many types. Wait, wait. You were mentioning types weak to fire, so then I no? see a steel. T I said types weak to many things. I know, but grass, ice, and uh, so, bug, so we default all to, fire. to fire. So in my mind, like, oh, the thing. they all connect to fire, <laughs> fire and so fire then we, we said steel's okay. I was like, wait, what? Fire, they're also they're also flying. they're also weak to like fighting, or not with fighting. They're, they're weak to fucking flying and uh, what else? Psych psychic, psychic kind of kicks hair across his ass. Um, rock fucks up uh, Chimchar and Swine up. Actually, not so much swine up because I think the reason I thought fire is because all three of them were weak to fire. Yeah, yeah that's it, a type of shit, but, but like this, compared, very basic. That's, yeah. that's, compared to every type you said right now, like there's at least one that covers that. Yeah. So Ted to Duke. So their main weakness was the fire. So, yeah. So I think Ted to Duke. Yeah, you need a water type. Yeah. And he's but, poison too, so that's pretty nice. He's also level 14. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I think this is a good team. This let's is go, a lot better. Let's go and say hello to them real fast. Hello! <laughs> but then give me another one. But then give me another one. <laughs> you see it? Give me another one. I also give love me the. Another one. I love the. <laughs> oh, the artillery. <laughs> waiter! Bring the vodka. Waiter. Bring the vodka. Bring the vodka. Well, Team Boof Buffs will be seeing you all next time. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more. And we'll catch you next time. Are you changing to wash them ever clear? Aw, uh, he's drinking some of that good stuff. <laughs> I'm drinking tea. Hey, Mayhem, Fireball? Hibiscus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mayhem, drink that. Ah!